Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I have another tonic haul, an order that came in that um, I didn't realize. Well, actually, yeah, I just didn't realize they had already shipped it. Um, anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, um, there is some paper in this haul, but I got it to go with, um, some dies that are coming. There's a designer's choice that I thought was going to be in this bundle, but it's not. Um, I guess it's going to arrive on Monday. Anyway, they have that, um, it looks like the coffee, the traveling coffee cups. And, like I said, I thought it was already going to be here. Anyway, this stuff got here first. So, um, I guess we're going to start with something that I debated on and debated on. But now that I've got a couple of the designer choice or the designer series um, dies, um, they are limited edition die sets. They come out every month. And then once they're sold out, they're gone. You can't get them. So it's kind of like you have to stock it. And I haven't liked all of them. So I think this is the one that's coming. It's going to either be my fourth or fifth one. But this is one of Tonic's um, like dye storage binders. And they had it on sale on their page. I think it was like $23 or something. And it comes with the pages. And... It comes with the magnets. Now, I'm trying to decide how I actually want to do it because I believe the way these are set up is you can put dies on both sides. But I think I'm going to put a, like a piece of cardstock in between them because I don't know because that's going to have your cutting edges facing out and then like on each other if that makes sense. So I mean if you go that route this will hold 12 sets. Um, generally how I do it when I store them, they go in a pocket, and it's only one set of dies per pocket. So, but I figured it'd be nice to go ahead and put all my designer choice in one um, folder. Plus, it's mint, which is going to match my room. So, I thought that was pretty not, you know, pretty cool. Um, I guess if I want, I can label the side. I don't know if I'm going to do that. And then it also comes with labels if I want to put a label up here at the top of the page. And I, I, have, I don't know if they sell like additional inserts. I would kind of hope they do because this can hold way more than just six pages. So anyway, so I got that one. Then I got, this is the, it's called the Nuvo Drop Bundle Tea and Coffee Bundle. And this was, $13.46 plus the 10% off. So I got $1.34 off of that. So uh, 12 basically $12 for these drops. And I just got it, so I didn't open them. Uh, Y'all know I'm bad about that. So this one came with six drops in this bundle. So we have a jewel drop. Looks like two crystal drops, a stone drop, and two vintage. So the jewel drop is in Cocoa Blush. So these are all going to be um, colors that should go with like coffee themed um, projects. So they're going to be browns and creams. This one is called Dirty Bronze. It kind of looks like the color of coffee, like when you're doing like an iced mocha or something. Then this crystal drop is caramel cream. I think that's a, a good name for that one. And they go nice together. That kind of makes you think of coffee. Then the other three in this bundle is, so a stone drop. This one is called... What is that? Uh, chalk white. So I think I have this one. So is that. And then the two vintage. And that is in. Let's 
see. Earl Grey. And chocolate chip. That doesn't quite look like chocolate chip to me, but hey, whatever floats their boat, that's what they're going to call it. So, yeah. Let me get these in the trash. The next bundle is called the. They call it the Sprinkle on Top Bundle. And it's a mixture of sprays and glacier paste. But I'm not quite sure how it goes with coffee. Uh, this bundle was $24.02, so I got $240 off of that. So, 20 what? Just over $21. So there are two sparkle sprays, and they... Y'all know I'm bad about this. I'm horrible about prep time, but um, that's what makes me me. And you know what you never you never know what you're gonna find on this channel. So we have it in morning fog and cocoa powder. And I gotta say those are really pretty. They got balls in them because there's I believe there's mica, but that looks like a really deep like pewter or like steel color. And this one is like a deep bronze or like a really dark brown, excuse me, with a, like a metallic brown. So it's almost like a dark bronze or like a really dark copper. So there's that. Then we have two glacier pastes. And I don't think these have anything to do with coffee, but they are really pretty. Um, this one is called Iron Frost. It's a really pretty, like, metallic blue. Love that. And the other one is called Winter White. Really, really pretty. And I think that's going to be really, um, look nice with some stencils, um, on some Christmas cards. So, it's like a metallic white. It's really nice. And then the last item in this bundle is a large bottle. Bun, ugh, large bundle, bottle, oh my goodness, of mica spray. And it is in the color Midnight Horizon. And I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And that's another one that has a bottle in there because of the... Um, the mica that can settle at the bottom and it's suggested when you have um, bottles like these that you don't shake them up and down you shake them side to side because when you do that you can force uh, mica up the like the little nozzle that you know sucks it up shake them side to side or you can go like this but um, the, the, sh the shaking um, is not recommended so there are those. Now, I wasn't, like I said, I thought I was done with paper, but because of the, the designer die that's supposed to be on the way, and it's coffee themed, I thought it was kind of appropriate to go ahead and get like coordinating the coordinating cardstock bundles that were offered on their page to go with them. So, this first one is called, it's called uh, the Card and Paper Bundle Coffee House. It was $17.22, so I got $1.72 off of that, so um, $15.50, like $15 I think, for these papers. There are... One, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And I think these are ex extremely appropriate for this dye, and I can't wait for it to get here because I tell you all the time I can't drink coffee, but let me tell you, I love coffee. So when I take make the decision to drink it, I savor it because it's so yummy. But so this one came with a mirror card in black velvet. 
And again, I really wish Tonic would kind of change some items in this line. They call it, so they have a high, I think it's called a high gloss mirror card. They have a, I think a velvet mirror card and another one. Honestly, I don't think it should be called mirror because it doesn't act like a mirror, if I'm making sense. This has a really matte finish to it. Um, the specialty card stocks are five sheets um, per, and the only specialty that is double-sided is the iridescent, and I don't know if that's included. We'll find out in a minute. So there's that one. And then we have glitter card in gold dust. I really like the golds that Tonic puts out. Um, also, if you're new to my channel and you're always looking for a, um, a glitter card that doesn't shed a lot, the Tonic um, glitter um, cardstock hardly sheds at all. Um, like you might get a, f a fleck or two. Um, anytime I use it, I mean, you can run your hand over it and like I said, you might get a fleck or two. It's, it's really good quality. Um, it doesn't have a lot of shed and that's why I love it. Then we have specialty paper in woven hide and um, I've gotten this one before. This one's come in another bundle. I really like it. It's got um, like a muted gold color to it. Really nice. And then this one is called English Lace and I think this is so pretty. Um, I would call it like eyelets. Like eyelet lace. I don't know. Really pretty. I think this is going to look good on some Christmas cards. And then the last four is standard cardstock. And these are hands down perfect for coffee themed projects. There's four colors. There is espresso brown. And um, again, y'all know I love their, their cardstock. It's a nice weight. It's textured, which is oh, my favorite. Hands, and it's solid core, so it, the color goes all the way through. It's not a white core, something I'm not a big fan of. Then there's chocolate brown, two nice, and, and I think they're appropriately named, espresso and chocolate. Then we have cream, and we have bright white. So I think those are going to make some really pretty um, coffee um, gift cups. Um, everybody in my office drinks coffee, so I'm probably going to do something along those lines and give those at Thanksgiving. And then I have some Christmas ones lined up that I plan on working on. So there's that. And then the last bundle in this haul. There are one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine different card stocks. This one is the called is this one's called the Americano um, paper collection. This was 2071, so I got 207, so basically 1726 for um, these next card stocks. I'm gonna do the textured at the end. There's some craft. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys. We'll do the iridescent. Okay. So the ear, the, not the iridescent, the pearlescent cardstock is the only double-sided um, specialty card. And it came with navy dazzle. You see it is um, on both sides. We have red velvet. And this was appropriately named when they called it Americano. Um, then we have craft perfect specialty card. And this is denim ripple. This one and the next one I absolutely love. They'll, they're going to be used in some like cruise ship, you know, some of the cruising layouts I have planned and mini albums because they look like waves. You can see that. I think that's really pretty. So there's that one. These are five sheets. They are 230 GSM. Um, all of their cardstock is acid free, so it's safe for your crafting and scrapbooking. The next one is called Deep Sea Dive. And it has a very faint, like, green hue to it. But again, this one also looks like waves. Really nice. Love it. We have two more glitter cards. And I love, love, love this red. This is Ruby Ritz. And then we have Midnight Topaz. 
and you know they have Americano so they're going kind of like with the red white and blue kind of theme here well there's really no white in this particular bundle the then they sent a pack of craft card there's 10 sheets and these are 103 pounds eight and a half by 11 craft card they I, I really like their craft card stock it's not too heavy but it is you know great for if you're using it for a base and then the classic card texture weave in denim blue and navy blue two of my favorite blues in their um their line so that's it that is the haul i was i for some reason i really thought the designer die was going to be in this order and i don't know how i got that mixed up but anyway um so i'm going to get these put away continue working on the room i will see you guys tonight with the craft room update um, I'm going to be, again, focusing on the desk and the craft table. So um, I will be seeing you later. I hope you guys have had a fabulous weekend. And um, until later tonight, talk to you later. Crafty hugs. Bye-bye.